Okay, so for this question then, we've got to find the dimensions that give us the minimum surface area. And I've just put down here the parts that we found out already. Remember that the height h was given by 500 over pi r squared. And we've established this equation for the surface area s. Now, in order to do this question, the method they're going to use is to differentiate this, find out ds by dr, equate it to 0, which would give us a minimum, and solve it for r. And once I've solved it for r, I'm going to then substitute it back into this equation here, which I'll call 1, and that will give me the value of h. OK, so that's the method. You might want to fast forward at this point just to uh, check your answers if you do have a go, because I'm going to take you slowly through the method. So to differentiate this, I'm just going to alter that last term by bringing that r up to the top. Remember, that's the same as 1,000 times 1 over r, which is the same as r to the power minus 1. So now... I'm in a position to differentiate this, so if I differentiate s with respect to r, ds by dr, then this is going to be the differential of r squared is 2r, multiply it with the constant 2 pi, and you end up with 4 pi r. And then for this term here, minus 1 times 1,000 gives us negative 1,000. Reduce the power on r by 1, and that's r to the power minus 2. And I'm going to change this, rewrite that last term, then as minus 1,000 times 1 over r squared, which is the same as 1,000 over r squared. All right? Now, we need to look at when we make d s by d r equal to zero okay that's when we have a stationary point and in this case this stationary point is going to be a minimum so when ds by dr equals zero we therefore have that our equation for pi r minus 1000 then over r squared is going to equal zero and I feel it's a good idea at this stage to multiply throughout by r squared. And you're going to get 4 pi r cubed minus 1,000 then equals 0. And I can rearrange this for r cubed. r cubed would be equal to, I'll add 1,000 to both sides, and that would leave me with 4 pi r cubed, and then I'll just divide by 4 pi. And now to get r, I just need to take the cube root of this. So r would equal the cube root then of all of 1000 over 4 pi. And if you use your calculator for this, you should find you get 4.301 and so on. Okay. We'll round this up to, say, two decimal places at the end. So that's R. And all I need to do to get H is just substitute this value here into equation 1. So I'll just make a note of that that will sub in equation 1. And that will give us our value of H. So therefore, we have H equals 500 all divided by pi times that unrounded version of r, 4.301, and so on, and that's going to be squared. Okay, let's just extend that line there. Okay, and if you work this out, you'll find you get 8.602, and so on. So, in summary then, we end up with the radius r, equaling 4.30 centimetres and the height h is going to be 8.60 centimetres and both of these results here 
are given to two decimal places, 2DP for short. Okay?